The next topic that we want to bring up here is let's talk about the Early Childhood Development Program and the firing of two employees. It's all over Face. It was all over Facebook. It was, it was a big Facebook thing in our community. Uh, first of all, I want to address the situation by saying I'm not supporting anyone. What I'm saying is it sounds a lot worse than it is. It's still bad, but when they say 12 counts and 7 counts, that's not individual counts against a child. What that is is an event happened, the harassment happened, the one charge of harassment happened, and there happened to be 7 kids in the classroom or and there happened to be 12 kids in the classroom. Yeah. So those are the counts. So I just want to make that clear for everybody because when I first mm -hmm. heard it, I was appalled too. I was like, holy, 12 kids? And it's not even like that. It's, it's 12 kids were in the classroom when it happened. So yeah, with that being said, yeah. Yeah. What are your thoughts about the situation? Well, what are the facts? Okay, so we know that it was put out on Facebook that there was an investigation pending, and it's still going on? It's still pending, yes. Okay, yes. so tell me about it. Like, treat it like I've never heard it before, and I want to know. Well, what had happened was, <laughs> um, again, I think we all heard about it the same way that you heard about it, a Facebook somebody post. Somebody had shared something or Somebody on had shared or po made a post a on Facebook. Post. Yes. Yeah. About people were just share, 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 comment, 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 negative, negative, negative. It turned into race, the whole race thing. You know, these non-native people on our in our There's white system. ladies coming to beat the native babies. And I just want to put that out there. Like this has nothing to do with no, race. It can like absolutely not. Happens it everywhere. can happen anywhere. It's happened in everywhere. It's just not here. It's just it happened to happen here. And first thing that we like to do is say it's it's race and there has nothing to do with race. It happens bad decisions happened and th there's consequences to it. But there's processes in place, correct? Yes. So yes. each program that's under the St. Richard's Mohawk Tribe umbrella, there's processes that are to take care of these events. And everyone did their due diligence to yeah. make sure that it was handled properly, correct? You know, it's, okay. yes. the investigations are happening, the cops are involved, you know, and I think the tribe and I think the police and everybody involved, you know, the whole education department, I think is doing a great job, you know. I think they're handling it, they're following their processes, you know, they're it everything. was an isolated incident. Yes. And, this, and that's one thing yes. I wanted to make clear with everybody, especially like us and everybody who was on that post and talking so negatively and making, and right away the first one was, oh my God, my kid's supposed to go there in the fall or I take my kid there every day. My, my poor kid's going to get beat every day. And that's that's say, not the case. The, it's that still program, a safe environment. Yes, that, that program, program is getting a bad rap. They, and I feel as a whole, horrible for that because exactly. I know there's amazing, great people that work there, you know, and... And the whole program isn't something to be. Yeah, let's not shut down the whole program because of, of this and incident. Isolate, yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, like Anthony said, this stuff happens everywhere. everywhere. It's not just ours. It's not just the white lady coming to beat up the Indian babies and all that stuff. This happens everywhere, and we are so sensitive to it right away because. Let's face it, as a community, we are very sensitive to things like this. Yeah, especially yeah. involving our children. Exactly. And that's one of the things that I think we can all agree when it comes to our babies and our kids. We are so protective, as we should be, mm -hmm. because we are trying to preserve the next seven generations. And that's supposed to be our goal and our lot in life at this point as mature professional people and for the parents and for the people who are discussing this on social media. Maybe seven generations from now, Facebook will just be a thing of the past, and they'll be talking about us like, remember when people used to be all telepathy next? They'll be all like 3D. This and I that. heard what that person thought of me. Yeah. Right? Exactly. <laughs> that, uh, again, oh, no. <laughs> this should not define the ECDP program because there are amazing men and women who work in that program yeah, exactly. who are all about the safety of our kids. Mm -hmm. You know what? We also have to give recognition as well to the process to the investigation, to the fact that St. Richard's Mohawk Tribe actually held a meeting to kind of clarify and just yeah. put it out there and what's going on to keep everyone as formed as possible. Yes. I know because again, meeting, people just run with it. They had everything. a meeting with the staff. I know they had a community meeting, you know, like going through everything because there was so many, there was so many rumors right. from Facebook. Of course. You know, Facebook's evil. Well, it's not, <laughs> it's not people all. need to be responsible <laughs> for what they post on Facebook. And, yes. I, and, and I hate to say it like that, but because a lot of people's voices are through social media nowadays, yeah. Yeah. where it has taken a place a lot of times versus going to a meeting. And you know what? I'm a proponent of that as well, because when I was at the tribe for that summer, I was trying to get Facebook to try to get people to communicate. Yeah. But now it's getting to the point where just be responsible in what you're writing. Yeah. I, I don't know how it's the same. Unless you've heard it with your own ears or saw it with your own eyes. But it's like many other things that have that happen at the tribe or 
happen at any event, everyone has an opinion. And then when they try to do something to get the opinion of the community, this and that, how many people show up? Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They 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 talk on Facebook. They're Facebook tough. Um, they're this and that. But when it comes time to really do some action and to have your voice heard, they're not there. Mm -hmm. There's always excuses. Well, I had this and I had that and I had this. Okay, but you were the first one to put your opinion out on Facebook. And then what yep. I don't like about it is that a lot of times it's accusations. They're not afraid to put people's names out there. I mean. Even if there is hypothetically any legitimacy to what they're saying, I mean, it just can cause a firestorm mm -hmm. of, you know, doubt amongst, you know, even leadership for that matter. I've seen our own council take hits. <laughs> yep. yeah. and, and it's just one of those things that, you know, this happened, it was taken care of, there was an investigation, we move forward and we still have to realize that this tribe is in place to protect, again, to your point, seven generations and our children within the community. Have yep. faith in the process. Absolutely. So I would like to say, Good job, Tribe, for handling it. And to the people that handled it, it was handled well. And stay strong to all the employees, you know? Like, not all of us think that it's a horrible situation. You know, like, it is a horrible situation, but I mean, not all of us think badly of the the whole program, program you know? Mm -hmm. Like, it just breaks my heart, because I know a lot of people. Well, you know the old saying that one bad apple can ruin the bunch. Yeah. And it's, sometimes it is true because it just puts a negative light on the entire situation. However, to your point, there's still a lot of really, really good you know, employees that work with the tribe, yeah. regardless of what race they are, I mean, we all have a job and, mm -hmm. and people are doing it well.